A visit to London would not be complete without a trip on the London Underground, locally known as the Tube. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to pronounce 20 Tube stations just like a local. All that is coming right up. Hello EC Dreamers, how's it going? For anyone that's new around here, my name is Tom and I teach fresh modern British English so that you can take your English to the next level and achieve your life goals. Now today, we are looking at how to pronounce 20 London Underground Tube Stations. And why are we doing that? Because you guys have asked for it. You've sent me so many messages asking for this lesson. And I get it guys, I get it. British place names are sometimes totally confusing. I get it guys, don't worry, I absolutely understand. And London Underground tube stations are equally difficult to pronounce. And that's why I'm here to guide you through these names so that the next time you come to London, you can say them just like a local. Where do you wanna go mate, Tottenham Court Road or Leicester Square? Okay, maybe not that local, but you know what I mean. Now before we start, I wanna mention two things. Firstly, I'm gonna teach you how to say these words in my accent. Now my accent is a London accent. There are other accents out there that probably say these words differently or certainly with a variation. This is my accent, I can only teach you how I pronounce these words. Secondly, I've chosen these 20 words for two simple reasons. They are the ones that cause visitors most problems and also, they're the ones that visitors go to most. Now, I could teach you how to say Thaler boys, but you're never gonna go there. Uh, so why would you need to know how to say it? So these 20 stations are the ones that I think you'll probably visit when you come to London and you'll need to pronounce properly. All right, that's all said, that's all done. Let's get on with number one. All right, let's get this one done straight away. Leicester Square. It's a really popular tourist destination and it's really commonly mispronounced. The real pronunciation is Leicester Square. Leicester Square. Leicester Square. Number two, Tottenham Court Road. This is a station at one end of Oxford Street, which is one of the main shopping streets in London. Now Tottenham is a tricky word because it has a lot of syllables, but actually we don't pronounce many of them. It's Tottenham. Tottenham, the stress is on the first syllable, Tottenham Court Road. Now, at the end of that word, ham, you've got ham. You'll see this in a lot of British place names. I think traditionally it means like farm or village. Um, and there are a lot of London place names that have ham at the end of it. Now the pronunciation there, it's not Tottenham, it's Tottenham. And that ham is um, we pronounce it as um. So another tube station is Clapham, Clapham, and it's not Clapham, it's Clapham. So whenever you see the ham at the end of a British place name, you'll know how to say it. Just like the main city, Birmingham, Birmingham. It's not Birmingham, it's Birmingham, um. All right, so one more time, Tottenham Court Road, Tottenham Court Road. Another popular shopping area, Piccadilly Circus, Piccadilly Circus. The stress there is on the third syllable, Piccadilly Circus, Piccadilly Circus. Now before you go there and think that there's gonna be a circus there, you'll be disappointed because circus is another word for roundabout. So it just means the kind of traffic system that is there, but Piccadilly Circus, sadly there are no circuses, but there are plenty of shops and fun things to do. And in fact, let's go to another circus, Oxford Circus. Oxford Circus. It's in the middle of Oxford Street and it's basically the centre of London's shopping. It's the place you want to go. If you want to buy clothes, this is the place to go. Oxford Circus. Oxford Circus. Now when you arrive into London, you might fly into Heathrow Airport. So let's pronounce Heathrow together. Heathrow. Heathrow. Now if you separate it, it sounds like he throw. He throw. So if you just put it together, he throw. He throw. The stress is on the second syllable there. He throw. So where are you flying from? I'm flying from he throw. Where are you flying from? I'm flying from he throw. Now let's look at some of the train stations that you might go into. So we've got Euston. Euston. It's a tricky one that one. The pronunciation is very different from the, the spelling. Euston. Euston station. 
And then we've got a classic one here, Marlebone. Now this one is mispronounced so often. I see it as Mary Lebone. That's the classic <laughs> mispronunciation, which I like. I quite like saying Mary Lebone. I think that's almost a better version than the real one. But the real pronunciation, Marlebone. So three sounds there, Marlebone. Marlebone. Marlebone Station. Next one we've got Paddington. Famous for the bear, Paddington Bear. It's also a very important station. Paddington. Paddington. So it's not Paddington, it's Paddington. Paddington. All right, this station is in the West End. It's quite near a lot of the theatres and musicals that you might visit. Hoban. Hoban. Now it looks more complicated than it actually is. It's actually two very simple sounds. Ho bun. Ho bun. Then you just put the stress on the first syllable. Hoban. Hoban. I'm going to Hoban. All right. Hoban. <laughs> if you're going to one of London's famous musicals, then you might also go to Covent Garden Tube Station. Covent Garden. I don't really pronounce that T very much there, so it's not Covent Garden. It's Covent Garden. World famous for being the beginning and end of time is Greenwich. Now this is often mispronounced as Greenwich, but it's not. It's Greenwich. Two sounds, Greenwich. 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 Three of London's biggest museums are located in South Kensington. You've got the Natural History Museum, the v &A, and the Science Museum, and they are all in South Kensington. So, I think we should learn how to say that. So, Kensington. The stress is on the first syllable. Kensington. Kensington. Now, rather helpfully, locals actually just say South Ken. South Ken. You don't even need to say Kensington. You can just say, I'm going to South Ken, and they will know what you're talking about. How wonderful is that? So let's all go to South Ken. This station is on the south side of the river and it's located next to MI6, which features in one of the James Bond films. Now the way to pronounce this is Vauxhall. 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 So two sounds, Vox or Vauxhall. Stress is on the first syllable, Vauxhall. Vauxhall station. Possibly the world's most famous shop, Harrods, is located in Knightsbridge. Knightsbridge. So if you want to visit Harrods, you'll probably go to Knightsbridge Station. So let's say that together. Knightsbridge. Knightsbridge. So the stress is on the first syllable there. Knightsbridge. One of London's most popular markets is Borough Market, and it's located in the area of Borough. Borough. So there is a station called Borough. Now the pronunciation is different from the way it's spelt. So uh, it's actually much easier to say than it looks. So it's two sounds, ba ra, ba ra. First, stress is on the first syllable, ba Although actually, if you're going to Borough Market, your best bet is to go to London Bridge Station because it's literally right there. So go to London Bridge, it's probably a much easier walk. If you're visiting the River Thames and particularly the London Eye, you might well go to Embankment Station. Embankment station. Three sounds, embankment. Now, the T at the end there, the T, you should probably pronounce it embankment, embankment. In reality, when I'm saying it, I'll drop that T. Embankment, embankment. I'm going to embankment. I'll see you at embankment. The stress is on the second syllable, embankment, embankment. Now the clue of the location is in the name. An embankment is a, a bank of earth that stops river flooding. So it's up against the river to stop it from flooding. So embankment is next to the river. Embankment. Ah, sometimes English makes sense. Just south of the river and really centrally located is Southwark. Southwark. Not South Walk. Southwark. 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 If you love shopping, you will also want to go to London's biggest shopping centre, Westfield. Now there are two Westfields, one is in Stratford, Stratford, and the other one is in Shepherd's Bush. Shepherd's Bush. So let's get that pronunciation again, Shepherd's Bush. Let's finish this off with two more major train stations. The first one, Waterloo, Waterloo. The stress there is on the last syllable, Waterloo. 
Waterloo. Okay, and finally, King's Cross, St Pancras. This was made famous by Harry Potter. He used to get his train from King's Cross. So we have King's Cross, King's Cross, and then St Pancras. St Pancras. Now, it's one tube station, King's Cross, St Pancras, but when you get out at King's Cross and Pancras, there are two different mainline train stations. You've got King's Cross, which goes up north, and you've got St Pancras, which you can get the Eurostar and go to Paris or Brussels or wherever. So, so it's a pretty busy train station to go to. King's Cross, St Pancras. All right, Eat Sleep Dreamers, how was that? I'd love to know in the comments below, which one do you find the hardest to say? So write that in comments below and write down any other train stations that you'd like me to pronounce. I can do a part two maybe to this video. So let me know which tube stations would you like me to pronounce? Uh, for you. Guys, remember to check out my Facebook page and my Instagram account. I put daily English content on there so that you can learn English every single day. How good is that? And also remember that I put new videos out every Tuesday and every Friday, helping you take your English to the next level. This is Tom, the Chief Dreamer, saying goodbye.